Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Omar Awan. I'm the Associate Vice Chair of Education in the Department of Diagnostic Radiology at the University of Maryland Medical Center. Today, I want to talk about the appearance of chest x-rays and CTs in those that are vaccinated versus those that are not vaccinated in patients with COVID-19. And I think sometimes pictures and images are more telling than some of the stats and epidemiological facts that we hear on the news and from the CDC. For example, we all know that those that are unvaccinated are you know, much more likely to be hospitalized, much more likely to die from COVID-19 than those that are vaccinated. So I wanna just take a minute and show you what the images of patients uh, that are have tested positive for COVID-19 are in those that are vaccinated versus those that are not vaccinated. So we take a look here. These are two chest x-rays. Uh, the one on the left is from a patient that's been vaccinated that has COVID-19. And the one on the right is from a patient that is not vaccinated and tested positive for COVID-19. And this person on the left is fully vaccinated. They've gotten two shots of the Pfizer vaccine. And if you take a look here, just to orient you, this is the heart right here, okay? This dark air column here is the trachea. This person has a central venous catheter, which is this dense line here that's coming in towards the heart. And importantly, this dark area, this is the right lung, this is the left lung. And most of it is dark, which means that the lung is well aerated and expanded. Now, of course, there are some abnormalities here. They've had, they have COVID-19 infection. If you take a look here, this dense linear line here is thickening of the airway or part of the bronchial is thickened, which means that there's some inflammation around the airway. And if we take a look here at the right lung base, there's some linear markings, which may suggest some partial collapse or atelectasis of the lung. But overall, the lung is very well aerated. There's no major or dramatic signs of pneumonia. And this is more or less a benign appearing chest x-ray. If we compare that to a patient that has not been vaccinated, who tested positive with COVID-19, again, this is the heart here. We have along the midline, the, this tracheal air column. Notice that the lung isn't as black. The right lung and the left lung isn't as black or as well aerated. There's not as much air in the lung as there is in the patient that was vaccinated. So for example, look at all this dense, bright opacity here, right? This is dense areas of consolidation along the periphery of the lung. And we know that COVID-19 preferentially involves the lung basis and the periphery of the lung, which is exactly what we're seeing here. And if we take a look here, it's also present on the right side. There's this dense area that's bright and white seen along the periphery and along the base of the lung, right? Along the dependent portion of the lung in this patient with COVID pneumonia. So the findings are much more dramatic on the x-ray in the patient that's not vaccinated versus the patient that's vaccinated. We take a look at the CT scans in the same exact patients. So this is the vaccinated patient CT and this is the unvaccinated patient CTs. Again, we can see dramatic differences. So for example, just to orient yourself, this is the heart here, this dark area here is the right lung. This is the left lung. Again, this is the heart right here. This is the right lung. This is the left lung. And let's focus on the vaccinated patient. You know, overall, the lung looks pretty good. It's well aerated, but there are these really subtle, hazy ground glass areas along the periphery of the lung, right? Ground glass means that it's an opacity that partially obscures the underlying vessels and the airway. So all these linear uh, densities here represent some of the, the airway and the vessels. It's obscuring part of it, but not completely obscuring it, right? And if you take a look here at the left lung base, there's some linear areas that likely reflect partial atelectasis or partial collapse of the lung, but there's, you know, well, good expansion and good aeration of the lungs here on the CT. If you contrast that with the unvaccinated patient, we can see that there are a lot of areas or much larger confluent areas of hazy ground glass opacity along the periphery and the basis of the lungs here, right? So, and part of this is even frank consolidation. So it's not just ground glass, but that opacity or this white area completely obscures the underlying <clears throat> lung parenchyma and lung architecture. And we can see the same thing at the left lung base. So the degree of inflammation and infection is much more pronounced in the unvaccinated patient versus the patient that's been vaccinated. And it's very clear and obvious. So the take home points here are, the chest x-rays and the CT scans show a markedly higher burden of infection in those that are unvaccinated versus those that are vaccinated in patients that test positive for COVID-19. Vaccinated patients are likely to fight off this infection because they have the antibodies that can fight the infection. So the infection is not as dramatic. 
It's not as pronounced, even on the imaging studies. This is, you know, great evidence that vaccines work. We see this on a daily basis. I could show you 100 more or thousands more of these cases, but I can assure you that many of the cases and nearly all the cases look very similar to the ones that I show you. So I, see, I you know, hope that you understand that, you know, these vaccines do work and they make a real difference in the appearance on chest x-ray and CT scans. And sometimes a picture is worth more than a thousand words and these radiology images can maybe shed to light what we already know, what we're already seeing, what the CDC is telling us and what we're seeing on the news and the media that, you know, patients that are vaccinated are much less likely to die, much less likely to be hospitalized, much less likely to stay in the ICU. And hopefully this sheds to light and makes things more clear by seeing the images of real patients. Thank you so much for your attention.